this is pretty cool. I am at the Vermont Teddy Bear Company. And what makes the Vermont Teddy Bear Company significant for me is when my husband proposed to me, he proposed to me with a Vermont Teddy Bear. Pause for a minute because I got in a bit of a traffic jam. But you can buy bears that are already made. And these bears are animated. They can move their arms and legs. And then you can buy outfits for them. It's sort of like the Cabbage Patch Place and the Teddy Bear Place in the Mall, which is funny because this place has been around since the 80s. So you would think they would have done the mall thing, but that sort of happens with enterprises. But look at these. These little bears look like cows. There's monkeys. There's bunnies. There's elephants. But it's a pretty neat place, and I'm actually going to go on a tour of the factory because they are making bears today. John Sortino, our founder, noticed his, um, one day his son Graham was playing with his bears, and Graham, and John noticed that Graham's bears all said that they were made outside of the United States. So John, as somebody who was really into supporting local business, went to every farmer's market, was really um, sure to help his neighbors out a lot, he thought, why don't we um, make a bear that was made right in Vermont? So he did, he crafted Bericho. <laughs> <laughs> so your bear can breathe. If, if the box didn't have an air hole, part of some food all that you get for us. And uh, if you do fill those out, first of all, you get an This was pretty cool, touring the Vermont Teddy Bear Company. I just learned that the teddy bears are 100% guaranteed for life. So if anything ever happens to my bear, I can send it back here and they will repair it. It was pretty cool and this girl does a great tour. She's very funny and endearing to the bears. And you actually get to see the factory workers working and making things. It's pretty neat. This guy's working on the holiday bear. That was last year's angels bear. It's pretty cool. I like little things like this because you get to see where the stuff you have at home comes from. Check that out. And they still work with the regular sewing machines, regular stitchery. Oh, and here's the thing actually that's cutting the fabric. They say this fabric gets cut by pressure of four elements. Look at that, those are the moldings going in there. That is 
pretty cool. And he definitely wears a mask because of the fur. Because the fur dust is everywhere in here. But it's pretty cool. Inside the teddy bear factory in Vermont Teddy Bears, they have um, a little playground. So after you do the tour, and you can go through the store and either make a bear or purchase a bear, you can come outside and play and have a picnic. It is really, really cool. They have beautiful grounds. And look, you can see the rig all the way over there. And they fly the American and Canadian flag. So how this got started was this guy who lived in Vermont saw the teddy bear, saw his kids playing with teddy bears, and they were getting injured and falling apart, etc., etc. And he realized that all the teddy bears they had came from other countries. So he decided that he wanted to make his own teddy bear right here in Vermont. And the first teddy bear he made his kid had short arms and it was stuffed with old <laughs> underwear and socks that nobody in the house could use anymore. So then it, from there, his, kids, his son's friends started asking for teddy bears and he started making teddy bears and selling them on the street. And I have one of, I believe, the original teddy bears. I think I'm going to take a picture of it and send it to him because they don't have my bear inside anymore. And it's actually pretty cool. It has a different kind of fur and is a little bit bigger. But I just thought the place was cool and I thought since I had a Vermont teddy bear, I should come here and see it. Also, when you go on the tour, you get this button. And then as you're on the tour, you get this little bear patch to put on your button because the little bears eat tour buttons. Talk to you later. Bye.